Hi everyone, it's Claire back again. So I did ask you recently in a video about my holographic, like Roy G. Biv rainbow holographic polishes, um, whether or not you'd like to see some neutral holographics and quite a few of you said yes, so here we are. Um, I'm going to get straight into it because I've actually got like 17 polishes to show you and I want to swatch them as well. So I'm going to start with the blacks. This is a black linear holographic and it's Nightwish from Polish Me Royalty and this is one of my first holographic polishes actually and I didn't realise how difficult black, like a true true black, um, quite often they turn into a gunmetal grey because of the, just because of the colour of the pigments. Um, but yeah, this actual this in two coats is a true black linear holographic, and um, like I said, it's one of my first, and I absolutely love it. So that's Nightwish, and this bottle was actually bought by Lisa Lisa Hendy because she knew that I was running out of the mini that I had, and um, and it was just such a, an amazing surprise. So thank you again, Lisa. This is Nightwish. Um, this next one, they're, they're all UK indies actually, my black holographics, that's looking a bit more grey blue, but it's a black base packed with scattered holographic and this is New Year's Eve from Glitter Baby Nails. So this does get, it's quite a jelly base and it does get opaque, but this might be a polish that you would want to put over a this type of polish anyway, I don't think you'd be able to get hold of this anymore. This is actually looking more grey as it dries um, over a black. I think that would look quite nice. But yeah, I don't think Glitter Baby Nails is making polish anymore. I'm not sure if anyone knows, let me know. And this one here is Mesmeris Lacquer, which I know she's not making polish anymore, Psychedelic Galaxy. But I think she's coming back, but she commented on one of my photographs on Instagram. Um, and I got the impression that she wanted to make a bit of a comeback this year, which would be great because she does really, really pretty and quite unusual polishes. So that's Psychedelic Galaxy, which is a black jelly base and tons of scattered holographic. Looking at it now, the Glitter Baby Nails is definitely more of a grey, but still neutral, so we'll keep it in the video. So we'll move on to brown holographic, and I've actually got five to show you. Um, we will start with the ILNP. This is one that I wore recently, and this was sent to me by Debbie Alexander, and it's a beautiful polish. It takes a little bit of work, and I know that... Debbie isn't particularly impressed with ILNP. Um, it is because I think it's because it is you know they take three coats, but when you get the finish, the payoff, it's absolutely beautiful. So that's a kind of grey brown, um, and again we're not going to be able to see the full effect until I put some more coats on that. But that's Alexander. Next is OPI My Private Jet and I th don't think this is the original. I've seen the original and it's very holographic. This one just looks just every now and again there's a hint of like a very fine scattered holographic but to be honest with you to me it looks more flaky. I think this is the definitely the new version but we will see if we can detect any holographic a little bit but I've seen pictures of the original of this on Instagram and I think Polish Pony sent me a film of this one a short sort of film and it was very holographic like linear holographic so that's my private jet OPI this is uh, another indie and this was from Rainbow Connection on my own and it was one of the charity polishes um, so I picked this up um, sort of a cheaper price but um, it was the I think some of the profits were don donated to charity and this is a really beautiful holographic it's like a chocolate brown it's gorgeous 
and this I think was the first holographic I've got that was a kind of neutral. Neutral obviously being like the, the absence of colour or bright colours like this one here, this is what I'm wearing today, is um, Delush Polish and it's called Endless Stunner and I've left it in this kind of matte satin finish I might put a top coat on it later and it was what I what I bought this because I wanted it to replace the camera's going crazy um this horrible polish that I've mentioned several times china glaze flying dragon which looks a lot brighter there um but it's yeah it's got that similar <laughs> I'll move it out of the way cuz the camera is going crazy but it's got that similar um matte finish with the blue glitters um okay back to the browns so i've also got two ardas nails they do look quite similar in the bottles but one is definitely more gray which is this one this is from the nine to five collection and this is called commuter hell and this is to represent i think all the journeys that cat does <laughs> traveling into work and the the commuter time so that is the beautiful commuter hell from the nine to five collection and, and this is chestnuts roasting from the christmas collection yeah and this is much more it's this is more of a gray brown and this one is much more of a of a kind of well like a chestnut brown <laughs> so I don't even know what to call this category these are kind of metallic coppery um, neutral this one looks like a this looks like a mixture between a gold a silver with a little bit of, of kind of yellowy green and it's another polish that's from the 9 to 5 collection and this is called Lunch Date um, and I haven't actually had the chance to wear this yet but it looks very pretty yeah it's actually like a very 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 pale spring green but it's quite neutral leaning so that's the polish that's the shade it's a really unusual color and very pretty holographic this one here is from princess nail lacquer and this is called amy yeah i think um she named this after a friend of hers amy and it's a very very pretty princessy glittery um a sort of soft coppery metallic and finally in this category sister chic from the ashes i rise and i've shown this a few times and it's probably i don't know i can't decide which of the three is my favorite in the trio it usually goes between this one and i am the dream which is the the silver icy topper but yeah that's very pretty and it's actually got quite a strong holographic and some flakes in there as well so very very pretty and then move these out of the way we get to the the kind of silver what I've done is I've got quite a few silvers and I've got quite a few silver holographics but what I've done is I've tried to pull out the ones that are more grey gunmetal type neutral holographics rather than a bright bright silver um, so that that was the concept we'll see so we'll start with this one first this is a gunmetal grey and this is Gunning for Glitter from Ardus Nails um, the Here Come the Boys collection And this has got to be one of my top three, I would say, from that collection. There's Mantis, which is the beautiful, flaky um, green. And there's also Bermuda Blue, which is a beautiful, like, petrol blue holographic. 
and then there's this one which is gunning for glitter and it's just beautiful so that's that one then another gunmetal grey holographic is Hollow Day Weekend from Salon Perfect and this was sent over to me by Debbie it's definitely slightly paler but it's great it's a great polish great formula I remember painting this on my mum's nails when she came over once and she absolutely loved it and this one is more this is the probably the most bright silver out of the bunch and this is holographic pearls from Revlon Yeah, there's definitely there's definitely a greyness to the base, but there's just so much holographic, scattered holographic that it actually looks um it just looks like a bright silver. And then we move on to another ILNP. This is Paper Root and I completely picked this up after seeing it in one of Catherine's videos. It's a very very delicate pale grey probably the nearest polish that I've got to a holographic white and a holographic white is impossible um, just because the 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 actual colour of the holographic pigments themselves so if you imagine if you kind of crushed a mirror what you would have in your hand wouldn't be completely clear it would be like a grey iron filings type of shade and that's what changes the base of a white into this pale grey. So that is Paper Root ILNP. And then we've got Molten Metal from the swatch wheel's getting quite full here, so I'm gonna have to be careful I don't smudge anything. Um yeah, this is the Molten Metal Barry M, which is great, really good holographic silver grey for High Street, and that's holographic lights. And I couldn't do this without including Space Race. And um, it's silver, but again, there is that kind of grey silver. So I've left myself one to hold the swatch wheel there. So that's them all so far. I will go and do a second coat and we can come back and take a, a closer look. Okay, so here's a second coat and third coat in some cases and I've put a top coat on the glitters as well, Jay. So hopefully points for that. And um, so we'll start with this one here. So that's Nightwish from Polish Me Royalty. Very pretty black holographic. This one is New Year's Eve from Glitter Baby Nails and I'm actually going to de-stash this one. Um, I'm just not really a full coverage glitter type of person. I'm more, I like the type of glitter where it's kind of like this, where there's the, the base is a bit deeper. Um, so this one is the Psychedelic Galaxy from Mesmerist Lacquer. And this one is Alexander from ILMP. And this one, this one actually needed three coats. This one is, and you can just about see some hollow there. <laughs> and that's OPI, My Private Jet. And I am actually going to de-stash this one. I just don't really wear it. So then we get to Chaos and Crocodiles, which is... This one here. I'm going to keep all three of these because they are slightly different from each other. Where are we? Where are we? Here, these three. <laughs> yeah, they're definitely different from each other so I'm keeping all three. So that is Chaos and Crocodiles on my own. This is Commuter Hell, Ardis Nails and this one is chestnuts roasting which is a really like smooth super holographic love that one 
and I'm also going to be keeping lunch date which I think I'll probably put this in the greens it's a very very pale neutral green but I'll probably put this in the green section this one was from Ashley at Princess Nail Lacquer and she sent me this as a gift and I'm sorry, Ashley, if you're watching, I'm really sorry. This is a beautiful polish. It is really pretty, but it's slightly textured, which I can't I can't do textured polishes. And also, it's a full coverage glitter, which I've got a few of them, but I just don't reach for them. I think this will be appreciated by somebody if I pass this on, so hopefully you don't mind. Um, thanks again, Ashley. This is Amy. Very pretty, but um, I'm going to pass this along. Then we've got Sister Chic I Rise from the Ashes I Rise, which is this really pretty neutral coppery hollow with those pretty flakies in there. And the I just love this one. There's just something about it. It's like liquid mercury holographic on your nail. And that's Gunning for Glitter from the Here Come the Boys collection. Salon Perfect, Hollow Day Weekend. This one um, I am going to keep because it was sent to me by Debbie and I think this is kind of hard to get. Holographic Pearls by Revlon. Um, just for when I ever need a full coverage holographic silver glitter. Um, this is Paper Root by ILNP. And these two here, this is Space Race, which again is that sort of smooth, super holographic. And this one is Barry M Holographic Lights. And I'm actually going to de-stash the Barry M. So actually that's not too bad. Out of the 17, I'm going to be de-stashing four of them. Um, so yeah, I'll decide what I want to do. I'll probably give this away if anyone wants the Glitter Baby Nails. Um, the Princess Lacquer, I've got a feeling that somebody... I've got a feeling that I know who might want this, so um, I'll speak to her and see if she wants it, but um, yeah. And these two I'll probably put in the shop. So that's it, my neutral holographics. I know I've got, I'm just thinking going through them, I know I've got a couple more. I've got um, more scattered holographic. I've got a couple of black um, and definitely some greys. But this is the majority of what I've got in my collection, apart from the ones that I'm de-stashing, obviously. Um, yeah, so let me know what your favourite neutral holographics are. I feel as though I need to get more pale, kind of creamy sort of colours. Um, but yeah, I do love neutral holographics. Okay, so um, that's it for now. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.